So I wanted to show you a way where you could use Keynote in mathematics. So let's create a new Keynote and I'm going to create a wide presentation because I may convert this to a movie afterwards, all right, as a piece of work. So let's click on a white presentation and what we're going to do is we're going to create a fraction wall. So the first things first, let's delete these text box. So let's tap on the text box and press delete. Now there's my blank slide. Now let's add a table to this. I'm going to tap on table over here and just an empty table, something like that. Now what we need to now decide is what your fraction wall is going to be. So I like to do 12 because 12 is divisible by quite a few different numbers. So let's tap on the equal sign at the end here and then just go up to 12. Let's put 12 columns in our table. So now our table's got 12 columns. Now we've got five rows at the moment. I can add more rows if I want to. I'm going to add six rows at the moment. We may change that later. Now what we also need to do is we need to put our grid lines in so we can see the different columns and we can see the different rows. So let's tap on the brush in the corner, tap on cell, tap on cell border, and then tap on this one here, which is going to give us a border for each of the cells. Then we can change our border style. So I'm gonna give it three point style and line type, let's just keep it at a, a solid line there. Now, what we can do is tap out, and there we've got our table. Now, we need to turn this into a fraction wall. Okay, so our first row here is going to be one. So, this is our whole. So, let's select all the cells by dragging them across, and then we get this menu here, and we can merge the cells together. And then we can type in here by double tapping and we can put one. We can also speak to the children how we can change the size of our number. So I'm going to double tap the number to select it all. And then I'm going to tap on the brush and then just change the size. Let's go to maybe about 50 or 60, 60 size. That's, that seems good. That's our whole section there. Now we can start thinking about right so how can we divide this into our different fractions? So let's do the second row and we're going to make this a half. That would be six of those cells. So let's merge that. And then we can do the other side as well and merge that. And then we can put by double tapping our number in here, one half. We could do the same again, one half. I'm going to leave the size of the text at that at the moment because you can change the whole size at the end there. So now I need to decide what fraction I need next. So let's do thirds. So for thirds, we have to do four squares and then merge. Then we can do another four squares and merge again. And finally, the last four squares merge. Then we can add our text in here. One divided by three, one divided by three, and finally, one divided by three. Let's move on to the next one. So now we've got thirds, we can look at quarters. So let's do quarters, merge, one, two, three, and then we can add our text. Well, what's the next one? Well, 12 is divided by six, so we can do sixths as well. So let's merge these. And let's add our text. OK, so now we've added all our text. We've got our final row, which is going to be twelfths. So let's add our text into that. I'm just going to copy. And then paste all of that over in here, like so. OK, so that's our fraction wall. And now we can do things with this to make it very special. So check out the next video where we can use some animations to really make this fraction wall come to life. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.